Look at this intro to all the Star Wars stuff on Disney Plus. Look at that. That's so sick. <laughs> It is time, Mandalorian is finally here, Disney Plus has launched, it is finally time to talk about The Mandalorian. Uh, hey guys, if this is your first time watching too, uh, we do all kinds of different reviews on film, Star Wars, all different types of stuff, so hit the bell, hit the subscription button, I would love it if you guys were along for that journey. Now let's get to this review. And here we begin with Mr. Pedro Pascal, The Mandalorian himself. He's actually tracking somebody down, collecting bounties. Pretty much, he's, he's just going around the universe, throwing people in kryptonite, getting money. And Mr. Tight Fletcher, he is the bar thug currently here who's gonna get his butt kicked by the Mandalorian. We did see this uh, clip a lot throughout multiple trailers. It did show a lot of just this specific scene. Uh, and then with the special look that they actually showed, um, last night as the last piece of a uh, trailer clip uh, they actually showed this complete scene another thing surprised me too this is uh, a TV PG series as well so there's definitely not gonna be anything crazy <laughs> it is Disney let's not forget that another cool device they have what they call is the bounty pucks uh, which is essentially it looks just like a little puck from hockey and it shows a hologram of the, the character their bounty dead or alive which I thought was pretty sick I cannot stress enough how good this series looks it literally feels like a full-fledged Star Wars film one big part he brings up right now he actually he's t trying to talk to the Mandalorian he's trying to have a conversation and he asks him if his uh, the, the guy that uh, the Mandalorian's uh, collecting he asks him if his ship is pre-empire so we 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 now know that this is actually after the the empire of the original trilogy and the falling of that empire uh, they do touch on it a little bit after the story but very interesting i mean we obviously have that time gap from you know the original trilogy to the ray trilogy um for the new uh series of star wars so there's a lot of space in between that they can touch on a lot of things so it's going to be pretty insane i like how uh the mandalorian let him see the the other bodies that are frozen in carbonite before he uh ended up putting them in <laughs> there uh i thought this was it was pretty epic though the whole carbonite sequence i thought was really cool and then big Carl Weathers coming back from the dead. He's actually playing Grief Karga. He's essentially the guy that we've seen so far that the Mandalorian comes to to get bounties or certain missions and stuff like that. So uh, he looks like he's gonna be a prominent character. They, they might show some more off of him. I'm, I'm interested in his character as well. I hope they do keep him in the series and, and show some more off. Now Grief actually gives the Mandalorian a super secret high top mission one that doesn't require one of those little bounty pucks this is a face-to-face -face meeting and it's very suspenseful very interesting the character that he actually ends up uh, meeting for this mission and here the Mandalorian meets a very anonymous character his name is actually the client played by Werner Herzog um, this guy is actually he's part of the uh, the old empire that's uh, just been destroyed and obviously we have some of the stormtroopers that are there he is sending the Mandalorian on a mission to capture this mysterious creature that's 50 years old obviously um, by the way, before we start getting too deep into the story, just to let you guys know, we are talking about the first episode. There's going to be spoilers, so spoiler warning if you guys haven't seen it, if you want to see it, because there is a big spoiler coming up, uh, go watch it. Um, if not, what's going on guys? Guys that are sticking with me, you guys have already watched it, or you guys just want to know, so you guys are the real successors. So thanks for sticking around. <laughs> So sending the Mandalorian on this high-tech secret mission to capture something that's 50 years old. All he has is the age, he doesn't have a name, he doesn't have a look, and he just has a tracker. And the Mandalorian's like, alright, well, if, if you're paying good, then I, you know, then I can do it. So <laughs> let's let's go. One of the coolest parts they had actually in the first episode where they actually showed one of the branches of the Mandalorian Guild, the whole squad uh, in the Bounty Hunters Guild. Uh, so wow, check, they show the logo up top. 
Um, they have the, the craftsman here who, who builds and forge, forges the stuff. Uh, she actually builds a piece for the Mandalorian with that currency that the Empire client actually gave him. Another interesting thing, the armorer, she actually asked the Mandalorian, hey, has your signet been revealed yet? And he's saying, not yet. And she takes a look at him and she says, soon. So it kind of seems like he's, he's trying to uh, gain worthiness with the guild. He's trying to um, essentially build himself and trying to prove himself either possibly being disowned in the past or something happening to where he is now trying to have to prove himself worthy for the sake of the guild. So it's a definitely an interesting uh, dynamic. Some delves a little bit into the Mandalorian story. I know we're gonna get some more pieces probably later in the series, but uh, definitely interesting uh, for that part. He explains how he used to be a foundling, um, which was apparently a younger kid who was uh, brought into the guild and pretty much he suffered some hardships. Looks like he was, from what they were showing, he was you know alone child you know something happened to his parents which is the norm of any main character in the star wars franchise uh so uh, he uses obviously that expensive piece of currency to build armor uh, a shoulder piece for him so uh pretty pretty epic so the mandalorian he his offset to the certain planet where he's trying to complete his mission for his bounty of the 50 year old creature and this this scene actually surprised me because these guys are called blurgs and we really didn't see the mandalorian be very i would say a high level kind of warrior like he's getting his ass completely handled uh by this blurg here by and there's actually two of them and he actually gets help from another guy but uh, he actually gets completely owned by these two blurgs and it really shows that uh, I mean, he's probably gonna com Continue to develop his skills as a Mandalorian. He was probably end up gonna die if this guy didn't come and save him the, the I have spoken <laughs> He doesn't seem like he's like an extreme high level um, By by just that but at the same time he is still human. He's bounty hunter So yeah, I believe they they might just be showing also the realism of uh, you know how how dangerous this world is if you're not a you know a, a force user. He's gonna try to learn how to ride on these blurgs. Um, for for some reason, apparently a speeder can't get to the location <laughs> because there's actually little crevices and stuff, and the blur can jump over them. But I would think a speeder could just hover right over them, but uh, appar apparently not. Or maybe because they're too noisy, that might that might be a thing too. They'll be able to hear it. But another interesting thing with this character is he essentially he pretty much quits right now he's like i don't have time for this i gotta go do my you know i gotta go find this guy and this guy actually convinces him to you know ride the blur he's you know saying oh the the old mandalorians in the past they used to ride mythosaurs you know it's in your blood as a mandalorian you have to be able to ride this beast uh so he 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 convinces uh the mandalorian to actually try to try to ride this thing so definitely some interesting pieces that we've been seeing uh, from Pedro Pascal's character as the Mandalorian. He seems like he's someone who is um, still young and still learning um, just from his past with the Mandalorian, how the armor was building him that piece. And she she was asking him, hey, you know, did you get your grievances? Did Are you, are you, you know, did you get your credences? And he's like, not, no, uh, hopefully. And she's like, well, I think you will soon. Uh, to this here, showing a little bit of backstory. So we're, we're starting to see different elements uh, from the character that uh, shows not only did he obviously have a dark past, um, but there's some very mysterious things about him as well. And then IG-11, IG-11, one of the most known iconic bounty hunters from the past, um, used to work with Boba uh, in the Bounty Hunters Guild a lot very classic uh, being played by Taika Waititi is actually doing the voice for IG-11 so I'm I'm excited that they 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 brought IG-11 in here doing some badass some cool things which is completely amazing we've always wanted to see uh, some of that classic bounty hunters guild uh, do do some kind of cool stuff uh, so I mean these are one of the people that worked with Vader with Boba Fett 
um, with the like the seven man god squad of bounty hunters. So it's pretty epic to see IG-11 finally getting down with some cool moves. <laughs> IG-11 and the Mandalorian, they, they then partner together and they work together. Uh, very interesting. IG-11 is actually very funny for a droid. Him and uh, Pedro Pascal's character, they, they actually have some funny interactions with each other so i thought that was that was pretty cool after the skirmish they finally break into the stronghold and they they get inside and they actually find something extremely extremely interesting a little conflict from the bounty hunters um ig11's orders were to come and terminate whatever target that he was sent to kill um and it's look at it it's a well, let's go back it's a little bit like a little baby yoda let's go back look at it Look how it pulls down the little scarf. <laughs> and it's, it's, it is an old, I mean, it's 50 years old, but it is a, uh, you know, Yoda, Yoda's race. Um, and 50 years old, um, it, obviously IG-11 was sent to Terminator. Uh, interesting for Pablo Pascal's character, the Mandalorian, he actually uh, does not kill it, which is very interesting. So they have a little skirmish here and, um, the Mandalorian actually ends up uh, shooting um, IG-11 and destroying IG-11, which is very interesting. Uh, so IG-11 drops, gets shot in the head, and uh, the Mandalorian takes takes the, uh, the 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 prisoner, the bounty away. So very very interesting. What is what what is this little baby Yoda gonna do? And where are they gonna take it? Where's Pedro gonna do with it? what's what's his next step it's very very interesting so there you guys have it the review the breakdown of the mandalorian uh let me know if you guys enjoyed episode one did it quench your thirst that you've been waiting for all year for this are you ready to see more uh let me know uh down below and hey hit the bell, hit the subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing reviews and breakdowns of every single episode of The Mandalorian. So I hope you guys will join us for that journey. So hey, I'll see you in that next video and be easy.